Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the Miss WWE Fan 13 channel. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, I am finally back after my last upload being last Christmas and my last consistent being on here about a year or two ago. I know it's been a long time. I know a lot of things have happened, not only in my life, your life, and in the wrestling world, um, but I am back. And it feels so good to finally be able to say that. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking, why haven't you been uploading? Where have you been? What is going on? Are you ever coming back? And here I am to say today, yes, I am finally back. After dealing with a lot of stuff in my personal life and, um, just going through some stuff, whether it be my schooling, um, you know, health, uh, relationships, just a whole bunch of stuff has happened since the last time you guys saw me. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go more in depth to it today because I feel like you guys deserve an explanation on where I have been because so many of you have followed me for so long and supported me for so long. I feel like I cannot do an actual return here after almost two years of consistently uploading weekly without giving you guys an explanation because honestly you guys do deserve one because even though i've been gone you guys have still been supporting me on my social media on my TikTok when i occasionally upload a video there um you know you guys have just still supported me even though i have not been here on this channel where you guys met me so that's what this video is going to be today i'm going to be kind of going over what's been happening the last two years in my life and why i've not been able to be here doing what i love uploading videos about something i love so much which is professional wrestling from wwe to aew to just every i love all you know as you guys know all lives of wrestling so um that's what we're going to do here today and then i will officially be back here uploading mondays wednesdays fridays 5 p.m. Mountain Time. If it's a little later, um, uploading 6, 7, it's because probably because school or I wasn't feeling well. But there will be a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I promise you, I'm officially back. I have finally made a way to balance everything in my life that I'm going through and finally be able to come back and do what I love here. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the little, uh, I guess, montage that I made for you guys explaining what's been going on in my life and why I've been gone. All right, guys, so let's get serious for a minute and let me talk to you guys why I have not been around consistently, like I said earlier, for almost two years. Um, so the number one reason and the main reason why I have not come and filmed videos for you guys is because of my ear problems. Now, to you guys, you're thinking, oh, ear problems, what? That's not that bad, a little earache. I wish that's what it was. Um, if you guys recall... Um, about two years ago, let me think, mm, yeah, maybe like two years ago or so, um, I took you guys along with me to get a surgery. Um, there's a whole video about it if you want to go watch it. It's one of the few non-wrestling vlogs I did. Um, so basically, you guys know, since 2018, I have been suffering with these ears, nose, sinus issues. Um, and these issues came because of my cancer. So a lot of you guys thought I was gone because my cancer came back. Nope, guys. Thank God. I am still in remission. Have been since 2016. And that's the way it's going to stay. Um, but because of the cancer and the chemotherapy, it has completely messed up my ear canal, the whole part of my ear, my nose, and my sinuses, and my cheek here. All the sinuses. All messed up. Um, so I have had numerous surgeries. I think I've had at least five surgeries-ish. Um the top of my head trying to fix this problem and um we ended up not being able to fix the problem here in el paso so we ended up having to go to a doctor in houston who is amazing i love him to death he is one of the best doctors i've ever had um and he's gonna be the one performing the surgery on my ear um to hopefully fix the issue i've had um in these past two years you know i've done a lot of suffering I know a lot of you guys think ear problems are just, you know, a little earache. No. These problems are so bad that sometimes I cannot get out of bed. I My hearing has been gone in this ear. In this ear, my hearing will not come back um, as good as it used to be. I will always have some kind of hearing loss in this ear because of these issues. And the same might happen here. We don't really know. We're trying to save the hearing in this ear. But as of right now, in this filming this video, I can't hear it all out of this ear. 
um, whether that's because of the swelling in there or if it's going to be permanent, we don't know yet. Um, so that's what we're going to find out. Um, so on November 29th, I will be flying to Houston. Well, the 28th, technically, I'll be flying to Houston. And on the 29th, I will be going for surgery. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on as far as my health issues with that. And this all stems back from the leukemia I had from 2013 to 2016. And it's just, like I said, been so bad. Sometimes I school is hard enough to do. And I had to push myself to get to school. That when I pushed myself and I was done with school because that's my priority, because that's going to be my career, that's, gonna be, that's my education, I had nothing left for YouTube, my personal life. I would literally go to school, pass out on the bed, sleep. So that is the number one reason why I have not been here. Uh, it sucks. This week is a really good week. I feel really good. My ears don't hurt. I've been taking antibiotics. Um, so hopefully this week is going to be a good week until I get to Houston next week. And so, yeah, that's that's the that's the main issue, guys. And I know a lot of you guys have followed me on social media. So you guys have been seeing that on my social media. But for those of you who don't follow me, I want you guys to know it's not because I didn't want to. It's because I physically could not get myself too because I was in so much pain reason number two guys I am currently in nursing school I if you guys don't know I've shared it so many times on social media I want to be a pediatric oncology registered nurse so that's an RN you know I want to take care of kids who are in my shoes that I was in you know what 2013 2016 having cancer I want to be that nurse because I want them to have someone who understands them because one of the biggest things when I was sick, a lot of the nurses, they weren't sick. They didn't have cancer. They didn't, they probably, some of them were never sick in their entire life, minus like a cold, you know, and I'm glad, you know, cause you don't want to go through this stuff. It sucks. But I want to be there for those kids because I can understand them. I had one nurse in my entire history of cancer who did have cancer. And I can tell you the little impact he made on talking to me and understanding me, it made a world of a difference because I saw him that he went through it and now he's a nurse. And so, you know, it helps so much. And so um, that's one other thing, you know, guys, education is very important to me. My college is my future. It's my career, my future career. Um, so that's another big thing. If you guys follow me on social media, as you've been seeing, I've been putting photos around for all this stuff I'm talking about. I'm up late studying. I'm taking tests. I'm studying some more. And then I have to find time to spend with my girlfriend. I have to find time to spend with my mom with my little dude and my best friend Raven like you know it's it's a lot so that's also gotten in the way of coming to do YouTube but now that I'm starting to learn nursing school and how the schedule is going to be now I can learn how to plan around my studying my tests my quizzes my future clinicals to be able to make some time and record all right and number three not so much why I haven't uploaded but just kind of like an update I want to give you guys um I am in a new relationship um uh her name is fern or fernanda but you know we all call her fern or fur um if you guys follow me on social media you guys definitely know i'm in a relationship because like i literally post everywhere um we started dating march 13th 2020 um right before the pandemic hit you know we started dating and it's been the best relationship i've ever been in my entire life um the healthiest relationship the most communication you know i see this relationship being pretty long term you know honestly very long term um but you know we're not gonna get into all that you know romantic corny stuff um because that's not why you guys are here but I just feel like I wanted to update you guys on that because you guys I shared my whole life with you I always have and so you guys will be meeting her on Wednesday um in my toy hunt video that I'm gonna be doing uh she's gonna be with me we're gonna go to I think four or five different stores to go look for WWE AEW figures so you guys will be meeting her um, but if you guys follow me on social media, you guys have seen that, uh, you know, we have a TikTok together. We're always posting on each other's Instagram, Snapchats, everything. Um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to introduce her before you actually meet her on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, that's number three, but it's just basically an update. And number four, um, part of a reason why I haven't uploaded, but also just an update. You know, I have been traveling a lot. Um, the little times I am feeling good. And the little times that I am away from school, um, I need to de-stress. I need to take some time for myself. So I have been traveling a lot since 2019. I've gone to Las Vegas with my parents. 
I've gone to um, Disneyland. I've gone to Las Vegas with my best friend Raven and Fur. We went on a road trip. Um, you know, me and Fur did a little road trip to Las Cruces, which is a city about 45 minutes out of El Paso. Um, you know, we went to Houston for a doctor's appointment, but we also made it into like a, a little trip vacation. We went to an Astros game. We went to the museum. So we went to do all this stuff. Um, you know, I went with my mom to Houston twice recently for medical, but we also made it fun. Um, and then Fur and I went to Dallas. Uh, right before school started um you know we went to six flags and all that six flags over texas so it's like fort worth i think um or i might be wrong i don't remember dallas is made up of a whole bunch of cities i can't remember where six flags is but i want to say it's fort worth um and then what else um we're getting ready to go to um to rio Doso with for and then my best friend raven and my little dude you guys know little dude we're getting ready to go like on a cabin trip and then in December, Fur and I are going to New York um, for a Broadway show, Lion King and Hamilton. Um, so that's just, you know, life has been crazy. The little times I have to de-stress, I travel. So I, but best believe though, every time I've traveled, I've tried to find wrestling figure stores to make a video, never can find any. So quick question for people who live in Houston and in New York, do you guys know of any like collectible stores that focus heavily or have a big selection of wrestling stuff because I would love to go there. Um, I have a place in San Antonio that I go to um, that I, you know, I frequently visit when I am in San Antonio. I've made very many videos there. And then in California, I have one of the stores in Anaheim. One, I don't know where he relocated, but it's the wrestling guy store. Um, you know, I have those two that I visit, but in other cities, I try to look it up on Google, cannot find anything. But Houston and New York City. Guys, if you know any, if you guys are from the area, comment down below which stores you guys know and so I can check it out and maybe go make a video there. I really want to. I love going to different collectible stores. I usually find stores usually for Pokemon and Disney and stuff like, you know, Pokemon cards because you guys don't know I love Pokemon and I've been po collecting a lot of Pokemon cards lately. Um, but, you know, wrestling, all I can ever find is Walmart, Target, you know, Walgreens and that's it basically. So let me know, comment down below if you guys know any, uh, or message me on Instagram, Twitter, anywhere. Send me, the, if they have a Facebook page, a Yelp page, I don't know, something. So yeah, guys, that is everything. Um, I hope you guys understand and you guys are still here. For those of you who are still here and for the new people coming along, thank you for being here. And uh, if you are an old subscriber who came back and haven't seen me in a few years, thank you also. Just thank you for anyone who is going to be supporting me now that I am back um, doing my videos. And if you guys want to request a video, go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to see. I already have the videos for this week planned out. Wednesday will be a toy hunt, figure hunt, where you guys will actually be meeting my girlfriend, Fernanda Fern, uh, for the first time. If you guys do not follow me on social media, TikTok, or whatnot, you guys really don't know who she is. But if you guys do follow me on those platforms, then you know exactly who she is. Um, so that's be Wednesday. And then Friday... Hopefully, um, fingers crossed, I find some figures or something during this toy hunt uh, and I will be able to show you guys on Friday um, what I bought. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find some stuff because I'm noticing that our town is starting to get more AEW figures and that's what I've been wanting to find is AEW figures, especially Darby Allen or John Moxley. Those are my two favorites. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed guys, you know, put fingers crossed in the chat, so or in the, not the chat, sorry, um, in the comments to hopefully we uh, find something good and that's will be friday and then i will also be pre-recording some videos for the week after the week of the 28th 29th that whole week because um on the 29th i will actually be getting surgery uh i will be flying to houston texas to get surgery on my ear um if you guys remember a few uh, years back i did videos of getting surgery and stuff going with me to get the surgery so we are actually sadly not done with that adventure of getting my hearing fixed um so hopefully everything will be good but i will be pre-recording three videos for next week and uh so i won't miss any uploads and you guys will have videos while i'm recovering from my surgery so yeah guys that is it if you have not already go follow me on instagram twitter snapchat um, all that social media at Miss WWFan13. And then also, uh, if you guys would like to follow my girlfriend and I's TikTok, it is at FurK13. I will put everything down below. 
um but yeah that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed and honestly it feels so good to finally be back Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is